When 9-11 happened, I was working at a Department of Defense laboratory as an explosives expert, and the creation of DHS gave me that opportunity to bring what I knew from that explosives world and have been applying it to explosives detection technology. And a main area is aviation security, where most people have traveled by um, air and have gone through an airport checkpoint, and you see a lot of different technologies there that Department of Homeland Security has funded and or rolled out over the years to make aviation security safer. And really, explosives can also be called illicit substances that we don't want to be passing through ports of entry or you know we want to be able to detect them in this country. And I work in fentanyl and the fentanyl crisis, um, synthetic opioids currently, and it turns out there's a lot of crossover with the detection technologies. That's a great example of my colleagues and I at DHS looking at what we can bring that we've worked on and lessons we've learned and research that we've done and being able to apply them to a problem that's growing and pretty severe. And the threat evolves with the adversaries. You know, they, they are not um, sitting around waiting either. As AI techniques and tools become more commercially available, we need to stay up to date and ahead as well. We have multiple groups that look at how to stay ahead of the threats as well as engage the research community, and that can be academia, industry, uh, other government laboratories, to help us in our research in these hard problems.